Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about how to approach someone for roleplay. So a couple of things to keep in mind when it comes to approaching someone for roleplay is that roleplay is largely writing for an audience of one, your partner. Also, the key to good roleplay is good communication. So we're going to keep both of these things in mind as we talk about how to approach someone for roleplay. So let's say you're in an RPG, or you're looking for one-on-one roleplay, or you're running some kind of independent roleplay account, and you see another roleplayer that you want to roleplay with. What do you do? So the first thing, and this is if we're talking about uh, social media-based roleplay, is to follow their account. This is your first point of interest. Also, if you're on a particular platform that has like likes or some kind of system like that, go ahead and like some of their posts as well. Now, a mistake a lot of role players make is they'll do just this and then stop and kind of go into this like, senpai, please notice me mode. So I'm gonna drop a truth bomb on y'all. They're not gonna notice you. They're just as shy and awkward as you are. Okay, so now that we know that that's not gonna work, what's the next thing that we're gonna do? We're going to go into messaging them, but we wanna make sure that when we do it, we're assertive. So we're not gonna be aggressive, we're not gonna be passive, we're gonna be assertive. So what do I mean by that? So if we think about being aggressive, what that is is going in and thinking about me, 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 thinking about all of your time and your needs and not thinking about the other person's. So then being passive is the flip side of that. So being passive is when you're thinking all about the other person, but you're not respecting your own time and needs. So we wanna fall in the middle. So you can probably guess at this point what being assertive is then. Being assertive is respecting your own needs and the other person's and making sure that you're coming together in that situation. Okay, so how do we be assertive when it comes to role play? So step number one is make sure that you've read all of the information that that other person has provided for you. If there's a rules page, read that. Make sure that you read about their character. Pretty much everyone has somewhere a description of their character. Make sure that they have any sort of triggers or squicks that they list for you, that you read those and respect those. I can't really emphasize this step enough. If the information is out there, read it. This is also gonna solidify your decision and make sure that you know what you're getting into before you message them. I can't tell you how many times that I've been interested in role-playing with someone and I go through and I look at their character and I look at their rules and I realize, oh gosh, they seem cool, but we're not compatible. This isn't gonna work out. So in that situation, of course, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna waste their time. I'm just gonna kind of move on and look for other partners. So make sure that you do this so that you know what you're getting into and that you can approach them in a way that's gonna be comfortable for both you and them. Okay. So now we've done all that, we've followed them, we've liked a post or two, we've read all the stuff about their character, their rules, whatever it is they provided. Now it is time to slide into those sweet DMs for some RP goodness. Okay, so first message to the player. What do we say? I've got a little formula that I use that helps me remember how to be assertive. So what we're gonna do is first go into it by introducing ourselves, then we're gonna express some sort of interest either in them or their character or whatever it is that drew them to you in the first place, and then we're gonna ask them if they're open to plotting some role play. So the message might look something like this. Hey, I'm Karen, I'm playing my OC Vivian, and I loved your portrayal of Albus. Would you maybe like to plot something with me? Then we wait. We're gonna give the other person time to read your message, read your pages, and make a decision on if they wanna respond to you. It might be really tempting at this stage to kind of sit and wait and watch that message and think about that message, you know, see if they left you on red, see if they came online and didn't look at your message, but don't do this. Remember, we're being assertive. So what that means is we're respecting not only ourselves, but also the other person. The other person might not respond, and that's okay. If they don't, move on to somebody else. Okay, so let's say they responded, great. So what do we do next? First is kind of let the conversation flow, get a feel from each other, and make sure that when you're talking to them that you're the one that proposes the plot. You message them, that means it's on you to propose the first idea of what to do. We don't want the conversation to turn into a like, what do you wanna do? Well, I don't know, what do you wanna do? Well, I don't know, what do you wanna do? That's really annoying for the person that received your message because they took the time to look at your stuff and respond to you, and it turns out you have no ideas on what to role play. It can feel like you wasted their time and that you don't actually care about role playing with them, and it could send off the signal that 
You want to role play, but you want them to do all the hard stuff. This might seem like a good idea. It might seem like, oh, hey, I'm letting them control it. I'm being nice, but you're not being nice. You're being passive. And remember, we want to be assertive. So what we're going to do to be assertive is propose that plot point first and see how they respond. Now, the person might say no at that point. I'm not really interested in that plot. So then it's totally appropriate to ask them like, okay, well, do you have any plots that you are interested in? And see what they say. Now, they might not really remember you asked them first, but that's okay too. You can just say, okay, well, I'm here. If you do have any plots that you'd like to do with my character, let me know. But let's say that you propose the plot and they're like, yeah, that sounds great. So hopefully they add a little bit more to that plot. And this is what you want to do too when you're plotting out with them. You want to make sure that you're doing your yes and with that person. So they propose an idea. You're like, yeah, that sounds great. And also this. And they're like, yeah, that sounds great. And also this. And you go back and forth like that until you have enough material to really start playing. Um, I'm going to be making a video really soon all about plotting where I'm going to expand on that a little bit more in the specifics of it. But I think that that's um, probably a good short explanation for now. Now, hopefully the conversation went well, and one of you guys is going to write a starter, and you're going to start role-playing, and it's going to be great. But it's also possible that the conversation didn't go well. If that happens, it's okay. Don't despair. There are a lot of other role-players out there. If you keep searching, and you keep building your communication skills, and you keep being assertive, you will find someone that wants to engage with your characters and your plots. So I hope that helps with some of you guys that are really struggling to find role play, especially in one-on-one -on -one situations where it's all on you to kind of make the magic happen and you don't have a group around you. These are things that I use and I have always been successful at finding role play if I keep at it. Now, this doesn't mean I haven't been rejected before. I have, but there are thousands of role players out there. Keep going and you will find someone that not only wants to engage with your characters, but is excited to engage with your characters. And once you find somebody like that, you have hit the role play gold. So remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all of the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.